we're proud to be from Emmett, Idaho, and we're proud to do what we do. Should be. The Emmett Fire Department plus three other rural Treasure Valley Fire Districts are getting a whole lot of recognition tonight after their combined efforts in California helped save nearly a dozen homes. Welcome to the News at 10. We begin with a reason that when western states need help fighting fires, a call normally comes out to the firefighters here in Idaho. Just 24 hours after arriving in California, the Idaho firefighting team was deployed to help on a new fire that sparked in Southern California in Ventura County. Their task, protect nearby homes, which they did. Efforts that are being applauded all over the region. Today, our Misty England reached out to the crew still in California to hear more about their time on the fire lines. And this is a story for the ages. And oh, it absolutely is, Mark. Now, when we did the story last week on this Idaho crew leaving, you'll remember they were just excited that they had enough crews to be able to send and they were hopeful that they could help in any way. Now tonight, they're really putting Idaho on the map. It was scary at, at the beginning because we're going into terrain we haven't been into, roads we don't know, and it was dark. A long Halloween night for Idaho fire crews in California helping to fight the growing wildfires. The Idaho team, Idaho Task Force 1, is made up of five engines and 17 firefighters from the Emmett Fire Department, Weezer, Parma, and Sand Hollow. The night after the team arrived in Ventura County, the Maria fire broke out. Which was originally when we got there about 2,000 acres, grew another 2,000 acres within the next hour or two. The team was deployed. Our task force was charged with uh, structure detection up uh, Ranch Canyon Road and a couple other roads. The task force leader, James Cook, who is also the Parma fire chief, says it's hard to say exactly how many homes were in the area, but says there were at least 10 directly in the fire's path. The crews had enough time to put in some sprinklers around one of the homes to protect it, but with 30 to 50 mile per hour winds, there wasn't time to build fire lines around all the homes. So Cook says they divided up and fought the fire directly. We just prepped it with hose and made sure we had water and made sure the guys were ready to go. Several hours later, the area was secure. No homes or lives lost. Uh, every engine was directly involved in saving homes. Word got back to the team's fire stations in the Treasure Valley. Uh, we were very pleased and excited. The Emmett Deputy Fire Chief says rural fire departments don't always get a lot of hands-on structure protection, so they were proud to be able to show what their crews are capable of. So when these small towns get together, I think it's phenomenal that we get recognition. Whether it's back at home in the Gem State. We get to save someone's personal property, their lives. That's what we're on this earth to do. Or on the fire lines in California. Oh, I'm super proud. I mean, I don't think you can uh, put it into words what it means to these guys. There's a lot of pride in Idaho's firefighters tonight. The job they did was incredible. Isn't that a great story? Just incredible. Yeah, I love that. So yeah. fun to talk to them and just hear that story. And another interesting detail from this, that Idaho team, so those 17 firefighters that yeah. I just mentioned there, they were the only crew in that specific area defending those homes. So awesome, awesome job to them. Kudos. Metals have to be in the works right I now. I would hope. Generated from awesome. there <laughs> and here. Congratulations, yeah. you guys. You make us all proud. Mm -hmm.